on bits. Whatever you want. A nice shiny new beat on bits. Beat on bits a real winner. There's always room for beat on bits. Just gotta love beat on bits. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Beat on Bits podcast. This is the show where I talk about passions, projects, and playlists with some pretty cool people. My name is Brandon. I'm your host. I'm a software developer and a DJ. And today I have joining me Andrew, otherwise known as Mr. Man 03 on YouTube. He is the destroyer of flat lands, and we might find out what that means today. He's joining us to talk about some things that he's passionate about, including his freshly released album. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they'll do music, YouTube, and maybe boxing. We'll see if we get there. Say hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> Perfect. So. Yeah. Uh, Andrew replied to a post that I put up on the small YouTubers community asking if anyone would be interested in a remote interview and he's actually my number one first time ever remote interview guest so I mean, uh, I mean first time I'll make sure to make it special for you yeah it's, it feels really romantic already so I'm very yeah. fortunate for that you should light a few candles or something oh yeah okay I don't have any candles here but I'll I'll uh, it's a shame Do I'll just time. I'll glue that into my memory and then we'll I'll, I'll make I'll It'll, it'll, it'll feel like we had candles there when, when we really didn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, he replied to that and sat through all the technical difficulties of getting this first episode started. So thank you for that <laughs> so far. And uh, I figured this would be a really cool uh, opportunity because he just released an album and I do a lot of DJing. So it would be cool to uh, how I normally do my three songs of my own choosing and three songs of my guest mini mix at the end of the show. I can just do a full mix of his album or just top few select tracks that he suggests. I've listened to it. I, I like a few, uh, a few of the tracks because they have a pretty cool beat. He's got some mad sick flow, just raking in all that dough right now from all his uh, world record breaking. Sw swimming in the dollars. Swimming in the dollars, making it rain. So, um, Andrew, if you want to just maybe uh, talk a little bit about that and maybe elaborate on some of the things that. You've told me that you're passionate about so far, that being YouTube, music, and boxing. Maybe we can start with uh, YouTube or music, whatever you feel like. Yeah, I think we should definitely start with YouTube because that's like, it's up there. It's up there. <laughs> yeah. On so, the cloud. Uh, got a YouTube channel. <clears throat> Anybody who's watching, got to go download it, obviously. Download yeah. YouTube. Go but, download YouTube. Yeah, go download YouTube. <laughs> yeah. You don't have it. Nobody's heard of YouTube until now. Yeah. So there's this new thing that just came out. It's called YouTube. Nice. What can you yeah. do on YouTube? Is it YouTube or the YouTube? It's, well, if you're over the age of 70, it's the YouTube. Okay. If you're under 70, it's really anything. Okay. I, I gotta just let my grandparents know later, because they don't understand yeah. unless I put that the in front. Yeah. Do, 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 do you and, like, older relatives always call things weird stuff? Yeah, like, my, my grandma my always calls called... it the Facebook. Exactly. It just makes me so mad. <laughs> yeah, my grandma always calls it the Facebook. She's like, oh, I'm gonna look on the Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. Probably from yeah. some old timely thing where that's how everything was actually called. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go have a yeah, the back, Coca Cola. Back in the 70s when Facebook had the before it. <laughs> yeah, back in the the good old days. Yeah. Make Facebook great again. Yeah, right. so I'll bring it back. I'll, I'll I won't mess up your guy for you. So yeah, no. um, <laughs> my channel is called Mr. Man Three. How do you spell that, Andrew? M R M A. Yeah, put it in the description. I trust you. I know you'll do it. Okay. So uh, I've been posting since. Jeez, like 2015. I don't know. I've known it since I was a little young boy. I started nice. making videos on my 3DS, and it was disgusting. <laughs> and uh, on your 3D, unlike disgusting. your your handheld 3DS. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know those could make videos. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't edit them or anything. You could just make them, and you can make like videos in 3D. Huh. It's like really, really bad 3D. <laughs> Interesting. It was so bad. I I wish I had it with me. I could like play one, but. Great. <laughs> yeah. You didn't keep so, any of those on YouTube. That's, that might it's, be for the better anyway. A long time. Yeah, I know how cringy old videos can be. They can be very bad. Yeah. It just you gotta think of the cringiest video you've ever seen, and then max it by like a million, and that's where I'm at. I don't know. You know that there's like a a a video about like these two junior high kids having like the whitest rap battle ever by their locker. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. I, to me that's the most cringy video ever. So I don't know. I love that video. It, it, it should it be is. my alarm in the morning from now on, <laughs> that, that would really have an awesome start to your day, I think. I'd recommend everyone think to so. do that. 
Yeah. Oh, I hate setting songs as alarms. It just ruins the rest of the day for me. Really? Because like, you get so... Like, at first, it's like, yeah, waking up to the best song. And after a while, it's just like... It's on... It's like... It gets ingrained in your soul as the worst song in the world. I don't oh, know what yeah. it means. Yeah. Yeah. No, that makes sense. You're probably like... Every time you hear it, you're like, oh, shit, I gotta wake up. Even if it's like... Yeah. Dinner time. It's yeah. like 8.30 at night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I gotta wake up. Oh, I'm already up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I see how that can happen. But yeah, yeah. you. I've watched a few of your videos, and I think my favorite one, for some reason, is your uh, raisins video. Yeah. Yeah. The raisins one was a fun one. That was really yeah. funny. And it, well, that was the first video I saw of your, because I think it's your featured one or something like that, or what it was so, when yeah. I watched it. And then you're doing, like, British accents, and I was like, I first... It was. It sounded legit to me as another Canadian, so I thought it was just like some British channel. But then I heard your songs and like, oh, it's, it sounds like a Canadian guy rapping. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. When we were making the Past the Reasons video, um, we had the idea for it because my my friend, his name's David. He was over the night before, and we were we were just talking about like, hey, we should make a video because I didn't do that because I'm lazy. Yeah. And then the next day, we're like, yeah, let's talk about let's shoot that thing we were joking about yesterday morning. And, uh, I mean, it's obviously supposed to take place in the morning because it's, it's about breakfast. Yeah. And we started filming it at, like, 5. And, I mean, you're Canadian. You know how early it gets dark in winter here. Yeah. So, like, we had such a small amount of time to film it before it was, like, pitch black out. Oh, damn. I'm just moving my laptop because it's starting to get really hot. <laughs> it's okay. We can be closer. Yeah. Just for this brief moment in time. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah. So, you, you made it as a joke that you were talking about with your friend the night before yeah yeah we the morning before we were eating raisins well we weren't eating raisins we were eating raisin bran okay and i was like there's like not enough raisins in these and he was like what's wrong with you <laughs> and then i don't remember what happened we started joking about like hey bring your granddad in get him to give us some raisins and then it went from that to i mean what it eventually turned out to be we started talking with accents and there's that one random part where like the guy like the banana costume comes out. We just look at her and we're like, yeah, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was, um, there's really no reason for that. We were just like, let's have some banana come in. Raisins and banana, I think it goes well. I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the, yeah. the end result turned out, turned out pretty nicely. I, I thought it seems like something like, uh, um, I guess chaotic in your face, random humor which yeah. I like from time to time, and I think that one's pretty good. So where did the British accents come from? Did you just always randomly do those for fun? I don't know. We used to do them a lot when we were younger, and then we just started joking with them randomly. And we're like, all right, let's just film a video like that. Okay. Yeah, it definitely seemed like something that you practiced for a very long time, because my British accent yeah, I, is, I, is I, crap. I watch a lot of Doctor Who, so oh, okay, I okay. understand the different accents, so then I just make them worse. So it's funnier, you know? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. bruv all the time or whatever. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like um, that movie, uh, The Kinsman or something like that? Kings yeah. Did yeah, you yeah. see the second one? I, I did see the second one. I, I loved the first one. I never watched the second one. The, the second one was kind of like, I don't know, not as good, but still enjoyable. And yeah. I think it was, well, it was a, a noticeably less amount of the word bruv in that one. Just because he's... <laughs> He's already yeah. like educated in that one, so he's not all, not all like yeah. gangster. Yeah, Which but it was makes still good. It less good by like a million. Yeah, that's true. It, yeah. I did like the the thug to gentleman transition in the first one, but yeah, the second one was just kind of whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that I think it turned out really well. And then where did the where did the YouTube music videos and rapping stuff come from? Um, back in. I mean, I, I'm a I'm a musician in real life. I play guitar, piano, a little bit of drums, ukulele. Okay. I, I, I do the whole shenanigan. And um, I, I use Logic Pro and I just make beats in my free time. And one day, my friend David was over. who's was the same one in uh, Past the Raisins. And uh, I was playing on this one beat, and he was like, yo, we should, we should put something over this. And I was like, that's a horrible idea. Why would you even suggest that? <laughs> And then I was I was playing it on the piano in the other room just while we were hanging out, and he was like, "Let us praise God for the bountiful potato harvest." And I was like, "That's the most amazing thing I've heard in my life." So <laughs> just, just randomly says that out of nowhere. Record and I 
slammed 40 pounds of auto-tune on it. And I was like, yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah. That was a lot of auto-tune. I remember trying yeah. to learn, like, how to do that a long time ago, and it, it was just too hard for me. So I just gave up. Yeah. Yeah. I messed around with GarageBand and Logic, but didn't really do much. <laughs> yeah. It takes a bit to get into, but once you're into it, it's like, uh, I can deal with this. Yeah. Fair enough. So it's from fun. that... It's one of just, like, random memes out of it. Like, have you heard the song... Uh, DNA by Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. In the beginning, he says, "I got, I got, I got, I got." Yeah. I uh, I took the instrumental and then I took the acapella and I just made him go, "I got, I got" for like the entire song. Oh and god. That was like the kind of reason I started learning how to edit music so I could do that. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> motivates you, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So how many hundreds of thousands of plays did that get, or did you not release uh, that? The, what, Potato Harvest? No, the I Got, I Got, I Got, I Got. Oh, no, I didn't release that. Oh, you got it. That's yeah. that's going to be like the one thing that just makes you blow up and then everything else yeah. makes it easy. Yeah. Like, have you heard of, uh, it's it's kind of DJ specific, so I don't know if you might have heard of it, but there was this guy called DJ At At, and he just like was notorious for putting random super loud air horns in like any popular electronic dance song. And he started with like, that big Avicii levels one a few years ago and then just did random other ones and you just get tons of oh, plays. Yeah, I've I've heard that I've heard it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you can you can start as a meme and then just go from there. <laughs> yeah. And then so yeah. the potato harvest kinda of started the whole idea of the album and everything or Yeah, well I in twenty fifteen I made an album. There were five tracks. Oh it was an intro. Yeah. And it was called I'm Not a Rapper Man, which one of the songs ended up being on the newer one but it's completely different oh. and um it was bad it was real bad yeah like i used garage band like seven like one of the really older garage bands and i didn't know how to use like the tempo thing so everything was all out of whack oh and pretty much every song could just consisted of loops and brass horns <laughs> it was it was not good that's and all you need for a hits yeah they were they were special i might release one of them one day just to laugh at yeah, but I need some time. <laughs> yeah, some time to come yeah. uh, come down from the one you just released because that was what yeah. just last week, two weeks ago. Uh, yeah, I think it was two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So what's yeah. what's that been like? Uh, pretty good. I mean, I'm still in high school, so everybody everybody enjoyed it there. Well, they hated it, loved it, and so that was entertaining. Nice. I I find a lot more entertaining when people don't like it. Yeah. Because, like, if you guys know Angel's gay, I'm like, yo. <laughs> I have an album, so me, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So are they going to play those songs at your at your prom or something? I hope so. That'd be great. Yeah. Actually, I've I've done a few, like, high school dances, too, and no yeah. one has had their own song, so you got something special. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there was, um, there's this thing at, at the school I go to every year called EC, where it's basically just this dance people go. And it's just a grind fest. Like, oh, okay. They, they don't go there to have fun. It's just a, um, and one of my friends was like, Andrew, you got to do Men and Women live. I'm like, you're the stupidest person I've heard in my life. Yeah. And um, I promised him, I was like, listen, if you learn how to DJ and you become a DJ at the dance, I'll do it. But you got to learn everything about music. And he's like, hey, I'll do it for next year. So I don't know. We'll see what happens by September. Nice. Has your friend started learning how to DJ yet? I don't know. I don't want to ask him just in case he forgets because I don't want to remind him. Okay. Watch. He, he's just going to like throw down so hard at your dance and just be like the dopest DJ. Hand you the I, mic and be, be like, it's time. Do the whole album. Yeah. I, honestly, I, don't, I think it takes a lot less time to learn how to DJ than play a instrument. <laughs> but that's just yeah. me because you could technically DJ with your iTunes playlist or something. Yeah, just press play and exactly. then pretend to do other stuff. Yeah, I like to think that I do a little bit more than that because I have the decks and stuff that I like yeah. to have fun yeah, with. Yeah, okay, so. a- answer me this. What exactly do DJs do when they're up there fiddling around? Because you press play, right? But the song's already made. It's not like you're making a remix. You just go back and forth and then slide the slider over. Like, Well, you know, as a DJ, you get a lot of emails, so you have to check, go through all those in between songs and reply yeah. to all the emails. So it's it takes a lot of effort and focus and attention. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know. Actually, uh, it it really depends on what you're. I don't know how creative you are, I guess, and what you're feeling with the songs. Because sometimes you can kind of just layer songs on top of each other while they're playing, and then 
it's you have one playing but it's it's like your own almost little bit of live edits of it so you yeah. just put you can put over an instrumental you can put over like random parts of other songs on on loop or whatever um i don't know essentially it's it's like a playing with logic pro but live and you can just like i don't know say drag your tracks in there and then you can like overlap them or whatever you can yeah. add effects whatever you want and yeah have you, have you heard of edjing or edjing i don't know what it's how it's pronounced is that like DJing it's, while you're high on ecstasy or something? <laughs> no, it's it's an app actually. Okay, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a DJ app where it's like it's like a turntable on your phone. Oh, okay. Um, I've I've my heard of. A friend who was a DJ. Yeah. He used to have it on his iPad. Okay. And it worked pretty good. So for a while, I would mess around with it, like, but all I would do is just like put a song in and listen to it for a while, and then be like, yeah, switch it to the next one. Yeah, and that's that's I think like the large majority of what people notice you doing as a DJ anyway, so yeah. if you can do that, you're good. <laughs> but yeah. I think with, with like, um, actually producing the music and singing and rapping and all that, I think it takes a lot more, I guess, less uh, glamorous time and dedication because no one's watching you do that part. It's yeah. like, you're, you're that one guy who's just in his room alone rapping to his computer, or did you yeah, have like was, a studio set up? There were a lot of moments recording the album where I was just like alone in my house screaming <laughs> into this like mic in my room, and I was like, "What am I? What am I doing?" <laughs> nice. And so you have questioned that while you're doing it. What am I doing with my life? All, so, all the time. Yeah, not completely insane. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, I am for sure. Okay, but at least you have yeah. the the rationale behind it a little bit there. What kind of setup it's do you have at home? Do you have like a external microphone and stuff, or did you do it all? I have. Yeah, I have a I have a 2007 Mac, which is the base of everything, which sucks because it takes forever. Yeah. Um, and I have like a, uh, it's something. It's a, it's like it connects through FireWire and it's an interface. I don't know what it's called. Hmm. So it's some average interface, and then I plug my condenser mic into it. Nice. I don't have a pop filter or anything. I just I put one of my shirts on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works. Yeah, I, I got myself, like, a dynamic mic and a pop filter, but I didn't realize, like, you don't really need one for a dynamic mic because it makes yeah. everything quiet anyway. <laughs> but it seems to be fine. I just stopped using yeah. it. For anyone watching or listening who doesn't know what that is, condenser is, like, correct me if I'm wrong, too, because you will probably work with it more than me, but yeah. as far as I know, condenser mic kind of picks up all the ambient sounds and, like, every little thing. It'll... It'll, it'll hear you, like, making gross mouth noises if you don't say anything. Yeah. And then the dynamic mic is more, like, picks up things directly in front of it, and you can really... Yeah, it's like a live mic and a yeah. recording mic, basically. Yeah, you can scream into the dynamic mic and not yeah. uh, not kill your yeah. software. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't and know, that's were, good. There were a bunch of times recording the album where I'd, like, I'd turn the game way down for the entire song because it would just be, like, everything would be me yelling. Oh, Yeah. Like the um, the Dear Dad song, which has an interesting story, but like the 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 hook for that, which is we're gonna spend it like Terry. When I'm yelling Terry, there's like five layers of me just screaming, and it was not it wasn't fun. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That does sound fun though. It was it was fun to listen to. I think Dear Dad was yeah. one of the ones I I enjoyed. Yeah. So you. Yeah, I've I've gotten a lot of a lot of crap for that song. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, well, it's, uh, my dad's name is Terry, so it's, oh, okay, okay. the song's about, I'm basically just making fun of him, because me and my friends pick on him for spending a lot of money. Yeah. He didn't take it that way, though, and he got a little upset. And then the, like, the, that's my actual mom on the song. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> so it's, like, it just, literally featuring yeah. mom on the song. Yeah. It nice. was, I had to convince her, and then she did it. And I, th I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I did not like it, though. So how, how do your parents uh, think, what, how do they think of like your whole music and YouTube and album that you have? Uh, they don't like it. No? <laughs> they're not, yeah, they're, they're like, well, I'll support you. And they're like, yeah, we don't like that too much. Oh, <laughs> that yeah. sounds like a very, uh, I guess, cautious parent thing to say. It's like, yeah. I don't know about that, but if you want to, go ahead. Yeah. yeah, it's always like, well, you know, you can't put that online. You're ruining a future job chances i'm like well maybe this will be my future job you don't know yeah that's true do, do yeah. you have like something in mind that would be a future job that youtube would potentially ruin for you i don't know i have no ideas right now because videos and music is pretty much what i do so yeah i mean and ideally that would be what i would do but 
I don't know. We're uh, solid at two thirty five subs right now, so Yeah. But yeah. E- even so, like I think in like music and film industry there's it's not like you have to be the the main star anyway to work in the industry. And yeah. there's lots of jobs there too, so if it's something you enjoy, I think that's that's really cool to to follow and, and chase. So yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you're ruined personally, but I don't know. Maybe if you want to be like a an accountant or something, I don't think even they'll they'll care. <laughs> yeah, I don't think really many people would care unless I'm gonna be like a, a lawyer working for. Yeah, I guess um, so. If if you have like something where you have to have your face on your business card, like a, a lawyer or a real estate agent, yeah. I don't know if someone's gonna want to buy a house for someone who eats that many raisins in their raisin bran. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I think it's fine. Cause which uh, are you a senior in high school now or? Yeah, going to grade eleven. Okay, okay. So you you have some yeah, time. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a wee boy. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if, if this is something you want to advertise. <laughs> well, you know, I realized that while I was doing it, and I was like, well, I gotta stick it's, with it. It's I'm too late. You gotta commit. That's that's respectable. That's okay. You don't just yeah. cop out halfway. See it through to the end. Yeah, if you got something, you just gotta go for it. Exactly. Exactly. So, did have you and your friends been making videos for quite a while together, or just like who kind of thought of this idea to start recording random stuff you guys are doing? Um, me and have you seen uh, what video is he in? Have you seen how to make a YouTube video? No, I I, only, I think I only watched a few like your more recent ones. Okay. Well, there's one of the guys who was in the videos. His name's Brian. He's tall. Anyway, we used to make videos back in like. 2010, 2009, yeah. we made a bunch of, we made this series called Wiznerd, and it was based on uh, this wizard named Jack, and then I was just Andrew, because I, he, he wanted me to be named Charles, I was like, what, why do we name Charles? So I was just Andrew, and he was Jack, and basically we had to just uh, save this crystal from, the, it was really dumb, it, the channel's still up, but uh yeah, if you look at Wizard, you'll find some special things. <laughs> but, right. Yeah, so okay. that, that really started off a lot. If anyone watching wants to go down some weird rabbit hole on YouTube, look up Wizard. <laughs> yeah, it'll, you'll have a heck of a time. Okay, I might check it out yeah. myself later. We'll see. Yeah, it's still, it's still. I film with them sometimes, but we have so much footage from over the years. He just never edits it, so we're still uploading like once every few months. But it's like oh. a couple years ago, so it's. Still it's going. sad. He's other things he could be doing. Well, you never know. Maybe he's just waiting for his big break. Yeah. Yeah, Wiznerd will go global. Worldwide, yeah. Wiznerd. Everyone will, everyone will be chanting Wiznerd in the streets. Yeah, I can I can see it now. Yeah. But maybe that won't be the case after I actually watch a video. We'll see. Oh, uh, well, you can say it now. Okay, sure. Yeah, tell everybody about it before you know that it's garbage. Yeah, that's good. I'll just... Yeah. I'll just put my expectation way up there and we'll have a nice yeah a hard crash down later so um let's talk about your album and kind of go through some of the the tracks because we've first got to know you a little bit with some things you you're really interested in and some stuff you've done and i think it'd be really cool to kind of go through the album and then what the process was like making it and then kind of talk about some of the tracks on there okay so uh the intro, there's nothing really special about that. I just, uh, actually, the intro was the last track that I recorded. Um, oh. Sometimes it's I good like, to go in reverse. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I was like, man, I should have an intro. I have an outro and an interlude. Why would I? So I just, uh, I just recorded a little thing, and then I found some beat that I'd made, slapped it over top of it, and like, there, intro done. Nice. Actually, the, the, the end of the intro, there's like a, there's like a, mm-hmm. Like a really weird sound. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's my buddy Gabe from a couple years ago, like on my original album that I was gonna make. Yeah. So it's a little callback for my friends who know about it. So you have a lot of these like, uh, classic audio files stored somewhere from. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so there's there's a couple things in there that are fine on their own, but if you know about them, it's like little Easter eggs. That's 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 really fun actually. And even uh, hearing about it is super interesting too. My brother actually is in a bit of like music production stuff himself and then yeah. he recorded like some dumb stuff his friends have said and just threw it over like a dubstep track like right before the drop hits and it just like yeah. build up and it's like you better watch yourself and then just like hits with a hard <laughs> bass so 
That's always fun to play yeah. with. So, so that's that was your intro, and then what comes after that? What's the first track you put on? Uh, there's Men and Women. It's like the name of the album. Okay, uh, the title track. The album. It's called Men and Women because I call my subscribers Men and Women. Why? Don't know. It's just one of those things that came along when I started making videos like years ago. Do you feel so, like by calling your subscribers Men and Women, you're excluding people who are potentially transsexuals and yeah, that stuff? Yeah, I, I had this idea for a video that I was going to upload in April Fools where I was just going to list every single gender as like... like so, because I don't know if you've seen any of the, like the, the vlogs that I've done, but my intro was, hello, man and woman, and I need a better intro. And instead of just that, I would just say... List all the... Like, I would get a list of all the genders and memorize them, and then it was like a 10-minute video of just listing all the <laughs> things. Make sure you include dragon kin and uh, wolf kind and all yeah. the fringe ones. Yeah. Yeah. That, you know what? That, I, I joke about that a... kind of stuff a lot, but if there's anyone out there... No disrespect, it's like... Yeah, I guess whatever makes you happy and whatever helps you yeah. get through things, then yeah, that's just do you. But I think that would yeah. be a pretty interesting video to do too, is just list, list all the ones you can takes. find. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. true too. Just do like various cuts, it'll work. So you call your subscribers man and woman, and yeah. so your title track was about your subscribers or just a nod to them? Um, I don't know, well, so the song Men and Woman I made before I was actually going to make an album, I made it with my buddy Michael, and uh, he, he moved down to Quebec, so he came down, because we, we used to make a bunch of videos together, and he came down, and he was like, hey, let's make a song, and I was like, duh, so we made this beat, and then we were like, alright, let's just start writing some stuff, we went to separate rooms, we just both wrote a bunch of stuff, and then we, we fought over who was going to get what parts of the song and stuff, and then we started recording it, and it was... And it wasn't really a point to the song, and then we kind of narrowed it down to, like, it's, it's just kind of like a theme song for the channel, really, because, like, yeah, because the main hook is subscribe today, become a man or woman, um, and make oh. sure that you do not sin. So there's just some, there's some jokes in there, like, do not run with scissors. It, it just, it's like, it's a little anthem. Yeah, okay, that, that makes a lot more sense, because you had the lyrics on screen in your music video, and I still don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> But now that you've explained it, it makes sense that it's about your subscribers and telling them to become a man and woman. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And then what's what's after a man and woman? Uh, after that is uh, chocolate dance. Yeah, it's chocolate dance. That okay. one started out as like an '80s kind of song, and it just completely turned into like this weird thing that I don't know if it has a genre. I'm sure it does. I don't know what it is though. Hmm. And. Uh, yeah, there's not there's not much of a story behind that one. That one that I just got home one day and I was like, yeah, chocolate <laughs> just, dance just makes sense. Yeah, yeah chocolate dance. The, yeah, there's not really any reasons called the chocolate dance. Okay. There's nothing to do with chocolate. <laughs> so it's not like a dance you do when you want chocolate or anything. It's just what came no, into your mind I mean, at like, the time. Have you heard that one? Which one? Chocolate dance. Chocolate dance. Yeah. I listened to the beginning of it and it sounded kind of like funky and synthy. Yeah. The um. So like the verse like explains the dance. It's um, uh, what is it? It's do you want to learn the chocolate dance? It's so exciting. Grab your friends, uh, link all of your arms now and prepare for the dance of your life. It is near. Uh, step to a saliva. You must share. Spit into your mouth and wiggle there. Take off all your jackets and now rub vinegar in your eyes. It's so fun. So that does dance. sound like a lot of fun. If I'm being yeah. honest, yeah. So how do you think of these these random lyrics? Is it just something you freestyle at the time, or did you actually like write this down first and then sing it from there? Um, so uh, there's multiple songs where it's just I didn't write anything down. I was just like uh, bazinga. The first thing I thought about, I just said a bunch of times or just talked about um, chocolate dance. I can't actually remember if I wrote anything down. I don't think I did. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Men and Woman, we did. Potato Harvest, we did not. Oh, <laughs> we just. Just I just say potato harvest a hundred times basically. Yeah. That takes a lot of thought and efforts. Saying one hundred times, yeah. Okay. So yeah. so you you so you've written some of your songs and then freestyled some of them, which I think is yeah. a, pretty cool to do. So have you had yeah. like freestyle rap battles before with your friends or anything? Um, I I I'm here's the thing, the like the album's a joke album, so it's not like I'm actually rapping or singing or anything. It's like, yeah, it's yeah. pretty. It's pretty obvious that like as soon as the 
first song comes on. But um, what are you talking about? I, that I songs have... your song spoke to me and changed my life forever. Yeah, I didn't mean when I said I'm sorry. I'm not <laughs> real. It's gonna. T- uh, I'm coming for you, Kendrick Lamar. Get out of the way. Exactly. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? I have no idea. You were talking about how um, you've. I was asking you about freestyle rap battles. Oh yeah, yeah. I have. It's not entertaining for anyone around. <laughs> no. Oh, it's, I, I thought it would have been fun. A, sometimes it is, but very rarely. Okay. Because if we're, if we're like doing stuff that's like like this, like if we're recording a song, for some reason I'm good at just saying random things that sometimes are funny. Hmm. But if I'm if I'm messing around with my friends, it's just ends up being sad oh okay so yeah. you need to have like that focused mindset like oh we're live now we gotta perform yeah yeah but being in real life is not being live I guess <laughs> yeah it doesn't work there okay that's cool so you did chocolate dance you did potato harvest man and woman uh, are there any like a few other noteworthy tracks that you want to explain or feel that people should really listen to more so than um, the others uh i really like oh canada okay it was a really easy song? track for me to make i didn't yeah. write anything down for that one i just i really like have you listened to that one yeah i did i did yeah so you're canadian so i'm sure you understand what yeah. i'm talking about in the song <laughs> yeah which um, which city are you from again i'm from uh moncton moncton oh ontario new yeah. oh, new, oh new brunswick yeah wait is there a moncton ontario or am i imagining things yeah, I think so. Okay. So you okay? Yeah. I'm I'm from Edmonton, so. Yeah. Yeah, a bit difference, but. Where I can reach out and feel your soul. Yeah, yeah, with with the O Canada song. Yeah, so uh, I took the beginning of like the O Canada like actual anthem. Yeah. And then I I put in a sampler and I just played like the. The thing that's in the song, and you can kind of tell like I I play the actual anthem as I'm talking in the beginning. Oh yeah, and I yeah. just like do random stuff. So, if you're paying attention, you can figure out that's what it is. So, I sampled the actual anthem for it. It's about the same length as the actual anthem, and it's just a bunch of stereotypes. And I think it's really entertaining for actual Canadians. Nice. Because, it just makes sense. Yeah, I'll have to listen to it again. I think I I just tried to like blast through everything and just like listen yeah. to it, but I wasn't. When you do that, sometimes you miss like what the actual lyrics are and things like that but yeah yeah but that's why it's interesting to talk about it because you know what to go back and listen for next time yeah yeah i really like uh happy family as well okay because i hate country me i like all music but country just it's not a fun time for me i hate it so i uh i just decided i'd make a little country song make fun of country it's about incest so okay yeah of course <laughs> yeah no, no need to tell. do you talk about uh trucks or like beer in the song i do the, the chorus is laying out back on my pickup truck making out with my sister and my uncle russ we're a happy family uh sipping on beer in my titled jeans give that one two punch to my sister's spleen we're a happy family in the country nice so. you kind of checked all the boxes for a great country classic yeah nice okay yeah so if you're a fan or not a fan of country it sounds like you gotta listen to Happy Family. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Okay, and then uh, um, what was that other one? The 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 Dear Dad track. Yeah. So that was written about. Well, uh, was it actually written about your dad, or you you just used his name in it? Yeah, it's definitely about my dad. Okay. It's, uh, <laughs> you may watch this, so I don't want to say anything too offensive, but uh, okay, okay. It, it, it is it is just a joke song about how he likes to spend money, and then. Uh, yeah, I wrote my mom's verse. She just talks about, just basically makes him sound like a moron. It's, it's generic. It's very mom rap, and that's exactly what I was going for. It turned out the way it wanted. So nice. I think like as a as a son, uh, it's it's always like extra fun to kind of poke at your dad and see how far you can go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's also like risky too, because it is it's especially with my dad. Yeah. He's not. He doesn't he doesn't like that. <laughs> no. Yeah. My my dad didn't used to like it either, but I'm I'm older now, so I can yeah, get on a just run away. Yeah, I can, I can I can just drive away. <laughs> I don't have to run anymore. <laughs> yeah, but so no, that, that's fun. Okay, see ya. <laughs> exactly. So what other? Uh, I think there was like uh, 
a third one that you asked me like which ones that I liked when I first listened to it and it was I can't remember the name of it now but you were like oh really out of all of them you like that one Do you oh, uh, Anthem of the Young People yes yeah yeah Something so about that, that melody I like. Have you ever heard, do you know who Pink Guy is? No. Hey, Filthy Frank? No. The name sounds familiar. Okay, he, he's a YouTuber. He's basically like my videos went crack. And okay. a lot more offensive to every race, religion, and everything. Anyway, okay. he, he, has, he has a couple albums out under the name of Pink Guy. And there's this one song on his album Pink Season called Club, Club Banger 3000. And it's basically just an instrumental that turns out okay and then just ends up being really bad and I want to do something like that so I just I started out I made this really cheesy like pumping sound yeah yeah I, I just I started adding a lot of things and I was just it was just going to be one of those songs that I was just going to play for my friends as a joke yeah yeah and then just I was like you know what I'll throw it on there nice just gotta yeah. build up that track list you never know what yeah. people might like because it started out nice I think and so I enjoyed it but maybe I didn't listen far enough into it to We'll just hear all the weird stuff happening later. Yeah, it just it becomes chaos by the end of it. Nice. So, do you have like a lot of these YouTubers like Pink Eye or Filthy Frank that you kind of think about when you're making your videos or anything like that or recording your songs? Because kind of um, seems like you. I mean, do a little bit of inspiration. To, like, yeah. Videos. Um, like when I first started making videos, I don't know if you know who Julian Smith is. No. No? Okay. Well, Julian Smith, he was, like, basically the highest tier of sketch comedy on YouTube when it first was around. Oh, really? And I watched I watched him, like, 24-7 as a kid. Wow. And as well as Rhett and Link. Oh, yeah. I know of them. Yeah. Yeah. So those are definitely, like, my main bases of what made me want to start videos. Also, Tobuscus. I used to love him. Oh, who's that? Um, you never heard Tobuscus? No. Oh, my word. Um... I mean, there's nothing I can say that will make you know who he is, I don't think. Okay, but I'll probably just have to look him up, him up yeah. Him. Okay. That sounds yeah. like a word yeah. that I wouldn't know how to spell. How do you spell that? <laughs> well, his name, his name is Toby Turner. So oh, okay, okay. They put Toby and put us on me. I'll, I'll send it in chat after we're done. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. Okay, yeah. Um, and then more recently, I watch... Do you know what iDubs is? Mm, I, I've seen the name, like, everywhere, but I don't think I've watched the video. Yeah. I feel like we watch very different videos, so I'm kind of throwing a lot of names at you. But uh, no worries. When it comes to YouTubers I watch now, I watch H three H three. Oh yeah, I know of him. Yeah. Yeah, him, Filthy Frank. He stopped making videos, but I, I really came in I dubs are uh, they're very big bases in in my beginning of my teenage years, making like what my comedy turned into. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So do you feel like you're you you want to keep making the videos in your current style or are you trying like different things every time um i mean i started a new series called shenanigans a while ago yeah um there's three episodes three episodes three episodes the first one is just a compilation of me just doing random crap around my room which sounds horrible but it's entertaining <laughs> the second one i uh i don't remember what i did the second one i talked about tumblr um, and then, yeah, a bunch of, I just talked about a bunch of different Tumblr posts. And the third one, I, um, it, it's called Why, it, there's not, there's no way I can explain the third one without sounding a little insane. Okay. So you should just go watch it later if you want. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do more of those when I start uploading again. I'm just in the process of, uh, changing houses right now. So I need a more, need a new setup. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, That's there's cool. that. I do my own takes on vlogs. I say my own takes because I hate the word vlog because it's either like Katie and I stat really good or like Logan Paul just, hey guys, eating craft dinner, taking a dump. So, yeah. Don't want to be either of those. It's just, it's different. I, I will like, if I go on a trip somewhere, I record me and my friends doing a bunch of stuff and then edit it down to the funny stuff and yeah. That's cool. So it's like um, more of like experiential vlogs versus like yeah. Hey, I'm doing stuff that everybody does and nobody cares about. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I think vlogging is a whole, like, beast of its own. Because you do have people who take it, like, really seriously and make, like, really nice productions. I think you still have people like Logan Paul who just make crap and get tons of views, too. So, I yeah. don't know. 
I don't know what that secret sauce is. Yeah, but... like, there's some... I, I've seen a couple of Logan Paul's vlogs. For the most part, they're garbage. There were some things that were entertaining, but just because he hurts himself. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sure, like, everyone watching has probably heard of who that is anyway, so I don't need to... Yeah, everyone knows Logan Paul. Yeah, unfortunately. I, I'm... Actually, talking about Logan Paul, and you mentioned boxing earlier, uh, are you, do you know anything about Logan Paul and uh, KSI's boxing match coming up? No. Uh, do you know who KSI is? No. Okay, he's, a, he's another YouTuber. He's a big old black man. Um, him and Logan Paul are doing a boxing match, and so is Jake Paul and KSI's brother in <laughs> September, I think. Okay, so, like, a, like a legit interview. official boxing match, or just... Something you're just yeah, gonna... it's like a real big event. It's in uh, L.A. somewhere. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I'm sure they'll post that, or is that like a ticket-only event kind of thing? Yeah, it's a... I think they're gonna live stream it. It might be on like a pay-per-view on TV as well, I think. Oh, my God. Like it's, a, it's a really big thing. This is... This makes me sad, but also yeah. somewhat impressed at the same time. Yeah, but... I think it'll be entertaining just to see really cringy people beat each other up. Yep. <laughs> I guess that'll be fun too. So KSI is kind of cringy too, I'm guessing. He's less, but still, yeah, a little bit. Okay. So we are coming to, I guess, like, close to my usual end time for these kind of interviews, which is like 40 to 45 minutes or so. And um, I think for the end of this episode, I want to, like, I'll talk to you offline to talk about the tracks and stuff that I should mix, and then... I'll just tack that on to the end of the, the podcast that I put up. And I'll, I'll try to put it on YouTube, too. We'll see if any copyright stuff happens. So Yeah, if, it, if there is copyright stuff, I can probably email the label, and they can probably fix it. Nice, okay. Because I did create all the songs, so I don't see why it, I wouldn't have the rights to make people use it. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Okay, cool. So look forward to that if you're listening, and then maybe if you're watching. But no promises yet. We'll see, how, see what happens. So that brings us to the end of today's interview with Mr. Man, aka Andrew, from Moncton. Not the Ontario one, if that one even exists. So thanks for joining me today and being my first remote interview guest on the Beat On Bits yeah, podcast. Well, thanks for having me. Maybe what, five years from now, when you're doing your last one, I'll come back. Yeah, well, once you're the yeah. big time star making all the real non imaginary dollars, then yeah, that'll, that'll yeah. be fun. Well, yeah, I'm already I, swimming in money every day, so... Yeah, I can see it all behind... It's, it's really hard to see you behind all those stacks, so it's... I'm happy you moved yeah. some out of the way for us today. Yeah, don't, don't let all the money around me, it's fine. Okay, <laughs> cool. So, so thanks for being our guest today. Is there anything you want to uh, uh, give as a final send-off to my massive viewer base of 26 subscribers? Uh, I wouldn't... I don't think so. I mean, I'll be sure to give you 27, though. Oh, that's that means yeah. so much. Thank you. Just, just for you. <laughs> that's that's like an extra. What is it? I can't math right now. But some non-zero percent. So that makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, anything higher than zero is good. Yeah, for sure. So thanks again for coming today. You just finished yeah. watching. I think this is gonna be episode twenty-two of the Beat Up Bits podcast. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Say bye, Andrew. Bye, Andrew. <laughs> See you guys next time.